Hallo zusammen. I guess some of you might be quite confused about the video's title. Well, Achievement Unlocked, I guess. But even though it sounds strange and even meaningless, I guess, there is some meaning and sense behind all this. Today, I indeed want to talk about a German term that is used on a daily basis by pretty much almost all Germans, I guess. But it's a term that doesn't officially exist like this. Why Germans, why? Certainly one of the biggest challenges when it comes to being a language learner and especially beginners is realizing, noticing and being aware of modes. And what I mean by that is you have like the written context of a language, how it works being written out, and you have the spoken context of a language, the spoken part of it. Because sometimes there are differences and very distinct differences. There is a distinct difference between a word that is totally normal and ordinary in written form, but that really gets transformed many times, let me put it this way, when Germans use it in spoken German. And that term is wa. You can hear pretty much every German use this in daily Deutsch, and it's not even limited to specific contexts, slang, informal situations and the like. But what is it all about? In written German, all the mystery doesn't exist. It's simply the first person, plural, personal pronoun and nominative. Wir, W-I-R, we. Wir kaufen ein Auto. We're purchasing a car. Dieses Modell haben wir gewählt. We've chosen this model. Now, when it comes to spoken German, native speakers would pretty much keep the first sentence untouched and verbalize it almost literally, each morpheme and syllable, with the exception of the e in the suffix en, in kaufen, to purchase or to buy, which is a common spoken feature too, but that's not the point of this video. However, when it comes to the second sentence, pretty much all Germans would rather verbalize it this way. Dieses Modell haben wir ausgesucht. As you can see, or rather hear, apart from the dropped e in the suffix en, the wir has changed to a wa. Da freuen wir uns drauf. We're looking forward to it. In spoken German, this would most likely get realized as da freuen wir uns drauf. You might be wondering why I gave you three sentences and not just one. The point is, wir stays wir sonically when it appears as the first word in a sentence. This is the ordinary way how wir would get verbalized and don't get me wrong, it also exists in daily German very often. Once a while, wir appears in high grass, uh, within a sentence or at the end, the tendency to verbalize it as wa instead of wir is much, much, much higher. As I've mentioned before, saying wa instead of wir within German sentences by German speakers might be considered rather colloquial or maybe even informal in some way or another. And some linguists might really argue that. They might say, okay, it's not part of formal context necessarily, but I would certainly disagree with that personally. Simply judging from my own experience when it comes to daily spoken German, no matter where that person is from, from North Rhine-Westphalia or any other German state, basically, even if it's like a boss and you're at a job interview, for instance, that person might also use wa instead of wir within sentences. What I mean by that is the standing of that person, the prestige or whatever you want to call that, doesn't really matter. Even like German politicians or whoever might simply say wa instead of wir. It's just a normal thing that Germans do. Even though, gotta be honest, I don't have a bulletproof explanation for the existence of wa as a spoken alternative version of wir, I think it relates to a language aesthetic feeling many Germans share. Sometimes the way words actually need to be pronounced diverges from what feels linguistically fluid and right in a way. 
And this is where the phenomenon with the dropped e in the suffix en, which is the ending to all German verbs in infinite and some other conjugations by the way, also plays a role, at least that's what I feel like as a German native speaker and language teacher. It just feels more natural, easier to verbalize, better and more smooth to say haben instead of haben, and to say wa instead of wir. And even when Germans sort of verbalize the e in the suffix, in haben, they tend to pronounce it rather weak and unstressed. Haben, not haben. In addition, wa can also serve as a conversational particle at the end of sentences, similar to the English right. This is rather limited to certain dialects though, for instance Berlinerisch, meaning the Berlin dialect. However, in this case there is no relation to wa, meaning wir. It's those things that you probably don't get taught at a language school. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, feel free to share it, spread the word because that is the best way to support your favorite YouTubers, content creators, whoever that is. That is the best way to do so. Thank you very much for doing that in advance. Greatly appreciate it and thanks for your support in general throughout the years. You know, it, it's been an incredible journey and uh, yeah. Really, really grateful for everything you've done, guys. Honestly. Thanks for watching. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.